So in today's video I am installing a Tesla charger and I've got to admit I am a bit of a Tesla fanboy. I love their cars and I love their products so I was really excited to install this Tesla wall charger today and I'm going to show you how the job went. The video jumps in a little bit um, into the install because I kind of already got stuck in and then I realised oh wait a second I need to be filming this. So it starts in a bit of a funny place, so excuse me for that. Uh, today's video is sponsored by my Amazon tool shop. If you hit the link in the description below, you'll see all my favourite tools on there. You can check them out and see maybe you, you'll spot some tools that you've not got in your collection yet and you can add them to your collection. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy the video. So I've drilled a pilot hole, which you can see here. Um, I just drilled a little 10mm pilot hole and then gone through the wall just to check that there's a clear route and it pops straight in between the joists on the other side and I've poked my rods in I've got four meters of rod poked through there and that's taken me out up under the floorboards exactly where I need to be ready to go down into the understairs cupboard so now that I've got my hole in the right place with the pilot bit I'm going to drill it out a bit bigger with this 25 mil drill bit because the cable's quite large and what I've done here a little tip for you is um, just to put a bit of tape on the drill at the thickness of the wall if you're not sure what's on the other side of the wall and you're worried about hitting or damaging something say if there was maybe some cables on the other side or or a pipe nearby or something like that what you can do is just put a bit of tape and then you'll f you'll know exactly when you get through to the other side I mean you feel it pop through anyway but it just gives you that extra bit of confidence that you're not going to go you know 10 centimeters through out on the other side and damage anything that might be there that you can't see so a little tip for you so i'm just going to open this hole up now and then hopefully start to thread the cable in also another little tip for you if you're pulling a cable in or pushing a cable in uh, like an armored cable like this the end is quite um, sharp and catchy and it could catch on something as you're pushing it in under the floor or it could damage something as you're pushing it in so what I do is just wrap a bit of tape around the edge, insulation tape around the end, and that just helps to avoid any um, catching on stuff or damaging stuff as you push it in. So what I've actually done is drilled through from the outside, just down there, pushed it under through in between the joists all the way along to here, and I've got it here now. Um, and then these are the holes I've drilled down. Now this was really tricky. Um, I've not got it all the way down yet, but basically you've got two joists here, thick, and then underneath this step, this step is actually resting on like a brick wall. So the understairs cupboard starts actually about here. Um, that's the understairs cupboard. So these cables, I've had to drill through at an angle through two joists then get through a gap in the brick here, and then get into the understairs cupboard. I've followed the same route as these because you can see some existing twin and earth coming up from the consumer unit, same kind of route. But I've also got to be careful of the angle here because I didn't want to come out and go on top of these pipes, I wanted to go underneath. So I couldn't come too high on the joist, otherwise I would end up having to go on top of these copper pipes, which would mean it was a bit tight for the floorboards. And also, I don't want it resting on the copper pipes because it could get hot so there's a lot of factors to take into consideration here and this is a hefty old five core six mil steel wire armored so um yeah a bit of a tricky one but i've managed to get the hole through now so it's just going to be jiggling it through this 25 mil hole which is going to be a bit fun so you can see how tight this was that is where it's come through to the left you've got two other holes between and earth coming through to the right, you've got these other twin nerds going um, somewhere into the wall. I've just managed to squeeze it in between in the middle and get it through. So I'm just going to push it down now. And then I'm going to run it through this cupboard somehow. Uh, these are all a bit slung in, so I'm going to try and do this one a bit neater. Clip it up properly. Uh, I might just clip it along the wood of the stairs down here. And then run it down this beam here uh, and then across 
and basically behind there is the consumer unit. I'm going to put a new three-phase consumer unit just over here to the right of the existing consumer unit. So here's the mains cupboard. Uh, I'll widen out a little bit so you can see. So existing consumer unit completely full. Three-phase supply coming in, which is not fully connected yet, but the meter company is going to come in and put some three-phase tails in and a three-phase meter. So what I'm going to do is just here, I'm going to install a BG enclosure with a Rolex uh, four-pole RCBO C40, which will feed the charging point. I'm going to put a Henley block in for these tails and an extra double pole Henley block for the extra two phases, run everything into place so that it's all ready to go, so that all the meter company needs to do is sling the two extra phases tails in. Just zooming in on this service head for a minute, I thought I'd share this with you. What do you reckon to that? How old do you think that is? It's an old lead cable with an oiled tape sheath and proper metal fuse hull, fuse carriers. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, how old is this service head? I've never seen one this old before, um, but let me know if you've seen anything older and let me know your guess as to how old it is. So this is where I could really do with an extra pair of hands right now, because basically what I'm having to do is inch this in about a foot at a time and then pull it down at the other end around the bend, come back, push a little bit more through, Pull it back, back and forth. It's really exhausting. So this is really important, you need a 32 mil compression gland black PVC. It doesn't come with one and there's no armoured gland that will fit that. Well, I mean, you might be able to get a 32 mil armoured gland, but then it's going to be way oversized. So you need a 32 mil stuffing gland. What I'm going to do now, cut down, uh, just score around the armouring, take the armouring off, cut it to the right level, tape around it and then terminate the cable in to the charging point. I've got the connections in here, L1, L2, L3, neutral and earth. Uh, the actual earth terminal, I'm gonna connect to the um, earth rod cable, which is here. I'm gonna just conduit that up 
the wall, drill a little hole and take that into the bottom and then it should all be ready to rock. So I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed installing the Tesla wall charger. It was a great honour to be playing around with Tesla products and I must say that it was a really well built charger, quite easy to install. So I was quite impressed with the overall process. If you enjoyed that video don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to the channel, tap the notification bell so that you get regular video updates from our channel. And also check out my other channel Tools for Sparks where you'll find videos, regular updates about the tools that I like and enjoy and sharing some little tool tips with you. If you want to save some money on your electric bill, if you check the link in the description below, there's a company called Bulb who I changed over to as my electric supplier about a year or so ago. They're one of the cheapest suppliers out there and all of their electricity and gas is green renewable in other words so it's a really great feel-good factor and you can save money on your bills especially if you're with one of the big five like British Gas or EDF or something like that you'll save an absolute packet on your electricity and gas bills so click the link in the description below and you can get 50 quid off your first bill so that will help you and it helps me also because I get 50 quid off my bill too thanks for watching and have a great day